the very beginning of the Book of Mormon, Nephi wrote that he was taught somewhat in the learning of his father. This tiny detail actually gives great insight into who Nephi was and what was important to him. Gaining wisdom from one's father was a significant aspect of Israelite culture that can be seen in many ancient and biblical writings, including the books of Proverbs, Job, and Ecclesiastes. Scholars call this type of writing wisdom literature, and Nephi's writings, especially his introduction, fit the definitional criteria of this body of literature perfectly. Nephi, being the skilled scribe that he was, wove many elements of wisdom literature into and throughout his writings. In wisdom literature, the wise man is often contrasted with the foolish man. An example of this construct is the story of Nephi as the wise man, being guided by the spirit to find and slay Laban, who behaved as the foolish man, with the result that Nephi could obtain the plates of brass. In fact, biblical scholar Dr. Taylor Halverson has suggested that the name Laban may be an anagram of the Hebrew word nabal, which means fool. Like a true fool, Laban despises the word of God and fails to value the brass plates, a direct contrast to Nephi. These details add up to paint a sharp picture of Nephi as a man who was particularly concerned with gaining and sharing wisdom. As the culture he was brought up in taught, wisdom is associated with knowledge, learning, and holding fast to truth and righteousness. Nephi dedicated his life and his teachings to the development and imparting of wisdom. As Nephi later wrote, Wherefore, the things which are pleasing unto the world I do not write, but the things which are pleasing unto God. And now you know why.